All right, Congressman Jason Smith runs the House Ways and Means Committee, and he uh, joins us tonight. Sir, it's good to have you on. Um, I want to start off, uh, James Comer, who you've been working with quite a bit, went on Jake Tapper's show on Friday. Tapper, who's been ignoring all of the evidence of Joe Biden's involvement in this, a guy who's been ignoring Tony Bobulinski's personal request to come on his show for two years now, we can verify. Tapper basically mocked Comer, your colleague, for alleging that this indictment could be a cover-up for the much larger crimes as in Hunter's potentially treasonous influence peddling operation with his father, who is the president. Let's go ahead and play it. My concern is that Weiss may have uh, indicted Hunter Biden to protect him from ah, having to be deposed yes. in, the, in the House Oversight Committee yes. on Wednesday. He but indicted we him to protect him. Yes. The classic rubric. He indicted him to protect him. I got it. Well, look, this whole, this, this, Jake, this whole thing's been about a cover-up. You know, you've got two That's why he indicted concerns. him to, to protect him, to, to cover it up? You know, for anybody that's been paying attention to, you know, the facts of this case, and Tapper has been, he just hasn't been reporting them, it, it, that's enraging to watch. I wanted to get your reaction to that. You know, Rob, it's very disappointing. Um, what we have learned just over the, the last several months from the two IRS whistleblowers, uh, it proves time and time again that they've been telling the truth. The, the nine different criminal indictments that Hunter Biden received just, just last week, it confirms everything that the IRS whistleblowers had recommended. And also what the IRS whistleblowers recommended, in fact, when they were before our committee this past week for five hours, they said there should be a special counsel into Mr. Weiss himself because of how there was obstruction yeah. in that in that investigation. You know, do you think that there's I mean, what Comer's alleging is that that there's you know, that this could be a cover up because there's so much there's a much larger crime here uh, that you guys are sniffing around about. And you're finding tons of circumstantial evidence that points to the idea that Joe Biden, along with his brother and his son, uh, have all collectively been together selling his power all over the world. Do you, do you think that we have you know, potentially a, a massive scandal here. You've got Jake Tapper just laughing at it and, and treating James Comer like he is insane to even suggest that. Rob, there is no doubt in my mind that Joe Biden is the most corrupt and compromised president in the history of history of this country. And you can just look at what the IRS whistleblowers have provided. The IRS whistleblowers provided numerous examples of where investigations led to Joe Biden. But in every instance, they were denied by higher ups at the Justice Department, whether it was a search warrant that was going after a naming political figure one, where they said that you can't have political figure one, which happens to be Joe Biden in it, or whether it's um, Numerous examples of communication. The whistleblowers were completely right on the nine criminal counts. They also said that the statute of limitations shouldn't have expired for the tax years of 2014 and 15, which the Justice Department allowed. Biden's Justice Department allowed them to expire, which would be yeah. additional felony accounts in addition to the other nine. So yeah. there's numerous examples from the IRS whistleblowers where the Justice Department, where Biden's Justice Department have been obstructing. Hunter is supposed to be deposed uh, this week. Um, is there, I mean, obviously what these charges could mean is that that very, very important deposition could be compromised. Is there any update there? You know, we subpoenaed Hunter to come in for depositions, Jim Jordan, Jamie Comer, and myself this coming Wednesday. It wasn't a request. It was a subpoena. I hope that Hunter Biden will abide by that subpoena and come in for the depositions, just like multiple others have already done. Is there, is there any chance that his attorneys are scheming a way to get out of that because they've now been federally charged? Well, I would hate to speak for his attorneys, mm -hmm. um, but I would think that they are trying to give him the best advice that they can um, being their own lawyers. So... I mean, these are the same attorneys that, according to the IRS whistleblowers, Rob, th told other uh, prosecutors that if they brought charges against the president's son, it would be career suicide. According right. to the two IRS whistleblowers, that is what Hunter Biden's lawyers 
told, well, let's see if there's career suicide after there's been nine counts of criminal charges. Mm. Okay, so you're still hoping he shows up uh, on Wednesday, and we're going to have to wait and see if that comes to fruition or if something interesting comes out tomorrow. Congressman, we appreciate you coming on and all the hard work. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.